Right after filing the N-400 naturalization interview, the client left the country, sold the house, sold the business, just gone because he had to take care of his parents. It's a very understandable reason, but it doesn't look good for your naturalization application. And most of the time when people file naturalization applications, they are here. They're lawful permanent residents. They're supposed to meet a certain physical presence test so that they don't violate the N-400 application. So very few people leave the country after filing. Or if they do leave, it's a few days, it's a few weeks. After about half a year, there was an interview scheduled. Well, he's not here. We had to schedule a second interview for them, which was granted, that's fine, but it was a month later, and guess what? They couldn't come back. All right, we have to reschedule again. It was granted, again, a month later, couldn't come back. We tried to reschedule again, denied, the case was terminated. Anytime you leave the country over six months, it doesn't look good, but he had a really good reason. So now the client had to make a choice. Do I reopen this case where the officer is probably not very happy with me or do I just wait and then finish taking care of my business come back and then wait another four years and one day and file the N-400 again later on it was a very tough choice to make but the client ultimately decided I'm gonna push through I have a really good reason I want to try we reopened the case the client flew back we went to the interview and we presented everything. The alien parent, he didn't intentionally leave. It was out for a temporary reason. The U.S. is his home, selling the property. It just happened to happen, right? I mean, it's not illegal to sell your property and it doesn't mean if you sell your property, you, you abandon your U.S. residency. Plenty of people sell their property, do a 1031 exchange, buy another property. This person's obviously wealthy. He's not gonna just not have a residence in the US, but it's because of this temporary nature of the ailing parent that he had to leave, but he definitely came back and he has all these other ties to the US, even though a home is not one of them. And the officer, after hearing everything, didn't seem very happy probably because of the three extensions. We were preparing for a really nasty request for evidence, and guess what? After just two months, the case was approved without a request for evidence. Anytime somebody leaves the US for over six months, it's so difficult. I mean, it makes you know an already difficult naturalization case just like two or three times more difficult. Why? Because you might be a spy. Why did you leave for so long? Is the U.S. just really your home? Because the law is quite clear. If you left the U.S. for over one year, it's presumed that you could have abandoned your green card, let alone now deserving to be a citizen of the United States of America. So I hope that helps you understand how much work you should put into a case if you've left the U.S for six months, even if it's like five months and a half, I would really recommend preparing a lot of evidence to prove that you did not abandon your residency. How do you prove you did not abandon your residency as a green card holder applying for citizenship? I need to do a completely different video, but in this video, I just kind of want to give you that context. For this case, he had to do extensions, he had an ailing parent, and we, we that's the only thing that they really had. Well, they were definitely an elite in our society. They have a lot of things going for them. A physical home was not one of them. The case still got approved without a request for evidence. So sharing that with you, hopefully that helped you prepare for your case. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Take care. Bye-bye.